Cyclone Gabriel has killed at least four people in New Zealand. Jessica Maggio is there. On the North Island's east coast, the disaster is far from over. Although Cyclone Gabrielle has veered southeast away from New Zealand, she leaves behind devastation and destruction. Cyclone Gabrielle is the most significant weather event New Zealand has seen this century. The severity and the breadth of the, dem the damage that we are seeing has not been experienced in a generation. Three people have died in the Hawke's Bay region, including a child. Another woman was killed in her home during a landslip in Napier. More than 1,000 people remain uncontactable. We expect the vast majority of these people will be accounted for. Um, however, there are several people missing for whom police do hold grave concerns. 10,500 people have been displaced. 144,000 properties remain without power. Cell service has also been lost, cutting communication to Wairoa, Gisborne, Napier and other coastal towns. Authorities fear Wairoa only has enough water, food and fuel to last the next few days. We're utilising all options to get a full assessment of the impact of the cyclone, especially areas where comms are limited. More than 300 people were rescued from rooftops with the help of 14 NZDF aircraft, including seven helicopters. Fire and Emergency New Zealand has confirmed the death of a volunteer firefighter trapped under a collapsed house which was caught in a landslide in Mudawai, west of Auckland. We've just received news that in the search for the missing firefighter that a body has been located, yet to be identified. Nevertheless, our deepest condolences to the family, to the community and of course to all volunteers and emergency services. This is no doubt will hit hard. In Auckland, the lengthy clean-up is underway, but landslips triggered by unprecedented flooding two weeks ago and exacerbated by Cyclone Gabrielle could take several decades to resolve. A lot of these residential areas have been cut off by that unprecedented downpour that came two weeks ago, exacerbated by Cyclone Gabrielle. These areas have been closed off and the only way to get through them is by canoe. Yeah, I've lived here since 1976 out this way, you know, so yeah, there's been extreme, you know. You know, I've seen houses fall over just from the wind. In the Beehive bunker in Wellington, Princess Anne joined Prime Minister Hipkins in a tour of the emergency response. Plans to attend the Royal New Zealand Corps of Signals centenary event was postponed by the cyclone. The UK and Australia have both offered support during the national state of emergency. We've received reassuring support from the Australian government, indicating that they are ready to provide support where and if needed. Uh, I've also had a call from the UK Prime Minister, who's also offered the UK support and assistance. In Auckland, Jessica Maggio, Sky News.